<clears throat> well, this video is about some intense ugliness in PHP and how to get around it. And the reason you're served to listen to this is um, the problem is, um, or the symptom that exhibits from this problem is your uh, websites will just, I don't even know how to exactly say it, WordPress just stops working quietly. There's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no errors spit out any place. Nothing. Um, and the symptom is really, really ugly because what happens is once you get up to a certain number of uh, rows in a, a database table, uh, either for the uh, pages or posts, then your themes just break. And I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you the problem and then what I um, did to fix it and also uh, there's a, a runtime switch that you've got to turn on if you expect to ever see this because there's no way to see it by normal debugging PHP so first off I'll show you what the the problem is so this is um, one of Laura Betterly's uh, websites that I've pulled into my development environment so I'm going to go to the um, the pages here, click on all pages. Now, if you notice over here in uh, this window here, uh, this window I'm camped on um, the debug log. And this window I'm camped on the uh, Apache log. So I'm, I'm looking at the everything that comes out of PHP debug, everything that comes out of uh, Apache errors. So now what we'll do is I'm going to show you what's in the um, WTP config file. All right. Now, I had thought that if you turned on uh, WP Debug right here, you see I've got WP Debug turned on. I've also got WP Debug Log turned on true, which uh, writes output to this WP content slash debug dot log. I've also got Debug Display turned on. To so that debugging goes into a log file and also gets dumped out onto the screen immediately. And the reason for that is if um, some random plugin or theme or something gets installed that is throwing errors, I'd like to know about it uh, instantly rather than, you know, take time to try to debug it because if I see a bunch of stuff spew out on the screen, I know it's time to fix some code. So I thought that turning on WP Debug output every notice, warning, and debug um, uh, message. That is not true though because PHP has what's called a shut up operator which is the at sign in front of uh, error processing and you know you can look that up if you'd like the detail. I'm simplifying it dramatically. But basically shut up says to suppress um, certain levels of diagnostics. Now, the problem with that is that if if you got an error, it's stupid to have that go unnoticed. Um, so, so here's what happens when I turned on all the debugging um, and I'm camped on the debug log and the um, the um, Apache error log. I'll show you the symptom of this problem. So here I'm in. Um, I've gone to Pages, uh, All Pages, and I'm just going to pick a, a page here and click on edit and it rumble 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 rumbles around in there alright now um, problem is here here's the symptom um, if I go in here into the window and say uh, command A I can see here's the here's the uh, the text but it's white on white and also if I go down here and I click on text visual this has no effect 
Uh, none of these links have any effect. And the problem is this. Uh, we're going to look at the source. I did view source in the browser. The problem is here. See this select? The last statement says select and there ain't nothing after it. So basically what that means is the select broke. So the select went off to the MySQL or I'm using MariaDB in this case. Uh, it'd be even worse if it was MySQL. It'd, um, uh, worse meaning that the uh, problem would uh, show up with uh, much fewer records probably. So anyway, um, the select is done and the page just stops. In other words, no data has come back and you see no closing body or HTML tag. That's the, that's the real um, uh, notice, noticeable factor here. So basically, this page has started to render and has not completed. All right, so let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Uh, well, let's see. The first problem is no, no, nothing comes out anywhere. There's no errors anywhere. So now let's do this. Um, I'm going to say locate xdebug.ini. And we're going to go up to this xdebug file. And I'm going to turn on xdebug scream and I'm going to explain what this means here in a minute. So first we're going to have to say service Apache reload. All right, and we see that uh, Apache has reloaded down here. Good deal. All right. Now uh, we're still camped on the Apache log and the PHP debug log. Let's see what happens when we hit this uh, reload button here. Oh ho ho! Now what do we see? Look at this information that came out right here. Now this is a real problem because I know of only a, probably a handful of really hardcore developers that run xdebug on a regular basis. The only way to see any of these error messages, though, is if you got xdebug installed. So here's the, your rule of thumb is, um, uh, let's see, package-lx. All right, so if you're smart enough to be running Ubuntu on your own dedicated hardware, which you should, you shouldn't use uh, VPSs, you shouldn't use cloud, none of that stuff is controllable enough to do anything useful with. And you, by useful I mean if you're running a business that's generating cash and you have to know that your cash is continual. There can be no interruptions. So um, on Ubuntu, all you do is you say install the PHP 5 xdebug package, and it's even the latest version of xdebug. Thank goodness. Um, now let's uh, let's talk about this uh, xdebug scream here. Xdebug scream basically turns off or disables the PHP shut up operator, which should have never been put in PHP to begin with. It's stupid. So what xdebug scream does when you turn it on, when you set it to one, every uh, notice, warning, and um, debug message comes out in the debug log. Now let's just, uh, just for grins, let's go to uh, All right, so now let's make sure uh, that we've got our error message coming out here, which we should. I'm just going to hit reload. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off uh, WP uh, debug and see if, in fact, um, this stuff comes out again. So that our error got generated again because I really I'm unsure. So I, I commented out xdebug. And let's see if this uh, debug message gets generated again. So what we're looking for is the actual signature of what you've got to have running 
uh, you've got to have turned on at runtime to get all of the appropriate uh, alright so so now okay so this tells us two things if you're smart meaning you're running a WordPress site for money what you gotta do is you have to turn on debug, debug log, debug display if you'd like to capture the information to a log file in the display or uh, which is the screen and also you have to install xdebug and then go into the xdebug file and turn on xdebug screen alright so now we have our um, let me make sure I've turned on WP debug again okay so now we should be able to go here and we should see our error we got xdebug uh, WP debugs turned on xdebug screen turned on okay um, all right now um, how are we gonna fix this mama well if you look at this number right here uh, and you run that number through a um, uh, a uh, byte to uh, megabyte or gigabyte converter you'll see that it comes out to almost 256 megabyte so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say, well, where in the heck is a um, wh where the heck is the constant 256 megabyte set? Um, and you know, actually, first what we ought to do is uh, show you what um, the uh, PHP info is for this site because you're probably thinking, oh, well, gee, it's the memory limit for PHP, but it ain't. So here is uh, whoops. Here's the PHP info for this site. Hit refresh, make sure it's all up to date, and I'm going to say, hey, stop it. Uh, I'm going to say, find memory limit. Look what my memory limit is. I've got my memory limit set to one gig, not. 64 megabyte or 128 megabyte it's uh, 1024 megabyte so it's it's in a, it's a, a huge uh, limit I'm running 16 gig of memory so or 8 gig something like that so I got plenty of room alright so now we proved that it didn't have anything to do with memory limit because this number here is 256 megabyte and this number is 1 gigabyte so we've we've determined that that has nothing to do with anything so now what we're going to do is I'm at the top of my uh, WordPress install here and I'm going to say find uh, and I'm going to look in every file every PHP file and I'm going to uh, grep for um, 256 megabyte because I'm going to guess that there's some random constant uh, whoops, left out a single quote. Yep, look at that. Memory limit 256. I wonder if I can do um, is it in. Now that's number. Let's see, man. Grip. File. You print out the darn file names. Files. I'd like to print to print the file. Well, all right. So I, I was hoping we could print the file. Yeah, I know the dash L. I was hoping we could print the file and the file name. Um. All right. So um. Here's all the places that 256 uh, megabyte uh, exists. All right. Um, okay, so import buddy probably doesn't have anything to do with file. Doesn't have anything to do with. Here's probably the culprit. Uh, the default constants file. So let's look in default constants here.
All right, now we're in default constants and we're looking for 256 megabytes. Look at that. WP max memory limit. Well, okay, we'll just be ugly right quick. I'm going to change this to 512. Save it. Give this a little white space here and go over here and hit the um, reload. And um, by the way, Laura, you really ought to prune your database because there's probably a lot of records that you could clean out. Uh, maybe. Uh, I mean, I have to go look in your database to see exactly what's going on. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Now we have the, the text of the page. And look at this. We've got the uh, all the the clicker doodahs work. Text, visual. Yep, and uh, it looks like everything's working. All right, so now we can't change this here because next time we uh, install or update WordPress, it's going to get overwritten. So let's go to wp-config.php. Oh, there it is. I've just, I just commented out. So here's um, so I I, I uh, put the uh, the initial file back to where it was. So if I hit reload now, we should see the error come back. It's always important to really keep up with where you are in a debug processing. Do one thing at a time. Okay, so there's the error, and we've got the 256 megs been exceeded. Now we're going to flip this on to 512 meg. And the reason we change it, like I said, in WP config is every time you update uh, WordPress, uh, the WP config file survives. If you go and change some random file like the default initialization constant file, then next time you put an update in, it's going to get overwritten. And look at that. It worked. My, my, my. What do I just... Uh... Everything's working. Oh, and also, um, if we go down here, let's go to the editor, and if we go down here and look at the page, now we see that instead of uh, a thousand lines, now we've got almost 6,000 lines and look what we've got here at the end. We've got our closing body and closing HTML tag. So we've actually got a real um, page here, or real meaning uh, a valid uh, syntax page. So the fix is um, three things. Um, you, you must turn on uh, all the WP debugging stuff, all the directives, WP debug, debug log, debug display. You must go into the xdebug.ini file and turn on Scream so that it basically disables the PHP shutup operator and you get notices, warnings, errors, everything comes out. Then for this situation, the fix is going in and setting uh, max memory to 512 and probably uh, because this is very close to the um, well I, I you can you can play with this for a while and you might be able to figure out let's see max memory load is six I choose to know this says the memory load was 219 megabytes Hmm. Well, or 100 dB size, 100. I would have expected this. Um, I've got a plugin installed here that shows the memory usage. I would have expected this memory usage to be instead of 106 megabyte, you know, something like um, uh, 256 or something like that. Oh, 
that 256 megabyte is going to that's going to encompass all of um, PHP's memory and database allocation. So uh, that means that the DB size is 106, and 256 minus 106 is about uh, 150 megabytes. So that means that the rest of PHP's memory utilization is over 150 megabytes. So I'll look and see if I can find another plugin and install to give the correct information uh, to come out to the whole 256 megabyte. We should. What I'm looking for is something that'll tell me that it's over 256 megabyte total memory usage, so I can see that uh, on an ongoing basis. But anyway, that's um, that's what you got to do to capture and fix this uh, problem. Well, I took a couple of minutes and tried to find some sort of plugin that would actually tell me the real memory usage, and there ain't one that does it properly anyway or correctly. So uh, anyway, that's just what you have to do is you've got to turn on um, uh, Xdebug Scream, and you've got to turn on your um, uh, WP Debug Directives, and then also you've got to watch your logs. Um, which means you've got to watch your PHP debug log and your um, <clears throat> your um, Apache log and make sure that uh, anything coming out in there gets corrected. And that's it for now.